uh, kujadili maneno ya uh, siasa kidogo uh, kupeana hali vilivyo hapa Kenya uh, kwa majina naitwa Weekly Chikuku aka Jeruto Man mimi ndio majoti lita kwa bunge ya mwananchi Kenya mzima uh, leo hivi ningependa kuongelea juu ya uh, maneno machache hivi majusi tumeona stories hit um, the uh, news papers kwa mitoma ya watu watu wanaongelea juu ya wanasiasa fulani wanakosoa masies wa William Samoe Ruto ambao wameongelea juu ya hali vile iko kwa bei ya mafuta na haswa wameongelea sana 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 uh, Moses Kuria na kuongea juu ya huyu ambaye ndiye advisor economic advisor wa William Samoe Ruto David D a uh, kifi yangu ningependa kusema hivi wa Kenya vile uh, hali ilivyo watu wengine huwa wapendi uh, kupata kweli na ukiambia ukweli huo mnaanza sasa ni kama mnaanza kulaumu mtu mwenye amesema ukweli wa Kenya wengine wanapenda tu kutanganywa kinja babu unaweza tanganya msichana mtanganye mtanganye na hakuna kitu yenye unamwambia uh, ile kitu iko ya ukweli lakini serikali ya Ruto iko na wajamaa ambao wanaweza kuambia ukweli. Kama iko, anakuambia iko. Kama hakuna, hakuna. Wewe mwenyewe ukubali. Ama ukatai. Lakini ukweli utabaki ukweli. Moses Kuria kuambia watu kwamba pei ya mafuta imepanda. Na kama wewe unaona wewe pei serikali na kunyanyaza kiba kisima chako. That is a very honest statement. Very honest statement. Na sasa mimi nikianza kusikia watu wa Azimio wanaanza kurusha maneno hapa na pale. Wanarusha maneno hapa na pale. Hawa watu wa Raila Molo Dika anaanza kupiga makelele. Anapiga makelele. Hata wao kuri amefanya makosa. Kuri need to be disciplined. Kuri amejarao wa Kenya. Kwa kuambia kwa amekuwa dishonest amekuwa rude kwa Kenya nataka nikwambie Amolo Odinga kimba kisima chako Kim, kimba kisima chako cha mafuta kama unaona kuri amekuambia uongo Kenya hautoi mafuta na hiyo ndio kweli hii mafuta inatoka mbali na bei ya mafuta sio Kenya tu wewe unapewa unaweka bei hii pei ya mafuta inawekwa na wale watu ambao wana produce mafuta. Sisi we are consumers. We are not producers. We are consumers. So we are at the receiving end. So ikifika hapa italingana na the cost involved. Wewe kama Raila Amolo Odinga kidi anyongesema tuma watu wako parliament. Waende wakae chini wa pass some policies mzuri zenye zinaweza kurikius pe ya mafuta lakini usia mtu akwambie ukweli kwamba mafuta ilipanda kwa sababu ya hali viliko ulimwengu mzima wewe unataka ku force vitu una force vitu wewe unatoa mafuta wapi hapa Kenya nionyeshe wewe ulitoa wapi mafuta ya Kenya wewe unaona tutoe to produce tukuuzie wewe ati kwa 1 lita ununue kwa shilingi uh, 70 kwa unataka kwa 1 lita uh, petrol tukuuzie kwa shilingi 100 kwa unataka simba kisima chako ukitaka hiyo pay irudi chini lakini ukiwaambia ukweli nyamaza dasimio prekedia mnyamaze kabisa mkiambia ukweli mkubali mimi sitaka kusikia watu wanaanza kulaumu Moses Kuria alikuwa sababu amesema ukweli na mafuta kweli inatoka bali enda hapa Tanzania enda Uganda wapi hata Nigeria tuna 
Naambia kwamba hiyo pia inatoa mafuta lakini ukienda huko pia pay iko juu. Enda kwa hizi hizi zingine hizi. Pay iko juu juu. So mwa Kenya msitanganywe ati Kenya mafuta sasa pay ya serikali ya Ruto imeweka juu saiti. Hii ni kulingana na vile mafuta yanatoka kule ngambo. Na ile subsidi yenye serikali ingepeana ile mafuta ya Ruto chini Nyinyi mnajua serikali haikupata pesa. Sasa itoe wapi subsidy ngipeane kwa hii ndio pai rudi chini. So msilaumu William Samoei Ruto admission yake. Mulaumu wale ambao walikuwa kipo wakafanya hii pesa haitakuwa enough ya kupeana subsidy. Tungekuwa na enough money. William Samoei Ruto angepeana subsidy. Mafuta ingekuwa chini lakini hakuna hiyo pesa. Hiyo pesa ask your big brothers, the two brothers. Uhuru na Amodo. Warudishe pesa kwa treasury ili serikali ya William Samoei Ruto ianze kupeana subsidy ya mafuta. Ili pay ya mafuta iende chini. Lakini kama hawatarudisha pay ya mafuta mpende usipende pay itakuwa juu kama utaki chimba mafuta chimba kisima chako chimba kabisa lakini maana kutuambia hapa na pale no mimi kile naona reckless speech ilikuwa juu ya huyu David D David D ukifanya uchunguzi ni huyu mtu ashawahi fanya na, na Amodo Odinga ashawahi fanya na Amodo Odinga Anaanza kutuambia oh msiwa msifa msiwa 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 wewe unajua ulifanya ushafanya wakati mmoja na na Amodo Odinga. Na kama umeweka hapo umekuja nyuma ukasalimiana na na Amodo Odinga my friend, utaanza kuongea upuzi mjinga. Kwa sababu huyu mzee ukishaza na miara na yeye, unakeukanga hata akili. Mimi naona wewe ndii statement yenye umeanza kutoa hadharani. Those are reckless statement. So tutakujunguza nikiwezekana wewe ndio utakao pigwa kalamu sio Moses Kuria Kuria alisema ukweli sio wanasiasa ambao mnaanza kushtumu Moses Kuria mimi na omu na, na muomba mimi kama mkenya mimi kama member wa UDA mimi kama dehai wa Kenya kwanza serikali haina pesa ya kupeana subsidy ili pay ya mafuta irudi chini vile watu wasimio mnataka haiwezekani haiwezekani hata kidogo next thing i want to talk about is ema hali ya baba kusema kwamba ana discipline members of his party the odm MPs Ana, anasema kwamba ana discipline wale ambao wanaonekana kufanya kazi ama wanaunga serikali ikikuja upande wa uh, bekinde miswada kwa bunge ama wale ambao wameonekana wakienda kutembelea rais kwa state house sasa huyu mzee Amole Odinga. Ati sasa amesema anawafukuza kwa party. Ana they are is turning them as rebels. Ati kwa sababu wameonekana kwa set house. Tumeona mbunge kama Felix Uhuru. Huyu mbunge wa Nangata anatulumiwa bure. Eti kwa sababu one time alienda sit house 
eti sasa wameoleta disciplinary committee na ikaamua wafukuzwe kwa pati I want to ask mzee wewe wakati ulienda kufanya handshake na the sitting president ukaenda state house mukafanya handshake na huru kinyata akiwa president did you resign kutoka pati yako ama discipline committee by then haikuwa kwa sababu wewe huko mtu wa jibili ulikuwa na chama chako huko mtu wa jibili ulienda huko na chama kwa chama chako ukaingia state house in fact mkao fanya handshake na uhuru mgai kinyata akiwa president so how comes wewe hapa leo mwanachama wa chama chako akionekana ameenda state house wewe unasema sasa huyo afukuswe kwa chama awe expel hiyo ni haki kweli na wewe unasema ati wewe ni mwana demokrasia na nasikia watu wengine huku wanasifu ati wewe huyu jamaa alibadilisha democracy ati baba alibadilisha democracy democracy gani wewe unaleta kama mtu anaweza ati mwana an mp elected mp akienda kwa state house sasa unataka kufukuza kwa kwa pati state house ni wa Kenya state house ya chama after mtu amekuwa kwa kit kama president mambo ya chama pale hakuna sasa wewe ndio unataka kuua maendeleo ya watu hapa nchini Kenya kama umeshikilia maneno ya fiama huyu jalango akienda state house anaenda kuongelea maneno kuomba maendeleo hapa nangata nangata hata wewe ulikuwa mpungi wa nangata hata huku kuchimba cho nangata huku kuchimba cho tulikuwa na fly toilet all the 24 years ukiwa mp langata ukienda kipira tulikuwa na flying toilet kuna wakati i happen to be uh, to be staying in langata eh, hapa kibira 1992 wewe ukiwa mbunge watu walikuwa na flying toilet so kwa sababu wewe ulikuwa hata uwezi kwenda kwa state house kuomba maendeleo kuambia tu rais angalia kibira maendeleo gani unaweza kunisaidia watu wa kabila hata ukaomba tu choo peke yake ulishindwa waacha chalango aende akae Naruto aombe maendeleo hapa kibira na kiomba ni watu wako wanaendelea ni wajaluo ni waka hapo wengi bwana. Waje kuua wajaluo ni unachifanya hapo unapendekeza tumbo yako mbele. Au ndio taendelee hapa kibira cha langu akenda kuomba maendeleo. So si chini wifukani wewe unaona. Ukitembea kibira kuna shida bado mingi. Wewe ulionekana unakaa uliitwa. Kule Mombasa. Mkaongea na rais in a, you had a closed meeting with the president na hiyo si uongo ukweli it is in public domain ulikutana na rais huko mabasi mkakunywa chai yenye atukula mlikula ingine atushui nani alikuambia sasa mzee wewe resign kutoka hii chama wacha UDM kwa sababu ni umekaa na rais na rais So wacha kuhubiri unahubiri maji unakunywa changa Wewe wacha kufinya wa MPs wako Wacha MPs wako wafanye kazi After election ni MP kuchapa job 
Si ati after after election, wewe bado umeshikilia na chama chako ODM, 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 ODM. Hiyo I'm warning you. Na kama nyinyi ni MPs kutoka kwa hii chama. Msiendelee kuinamia mzee mzee hii miaka yote. After election wewe ni kusafu wananchi. Maana ya election imeisha sasa ni maendeleo gani wananchi watakuuliza after 5 years umewafanyia nini lakini wewe ukiendelea kufuatana mzee atakisema right turn na turn left turn na turn salute na salute my friend at the end of 5 years hata cho utachimbia watu wako kwa constituency kwa sababu wewe unafuatana na mzee na mzee anakuanga na ile ma, ile machozi ina machozi kwa sababu mnajua amepotesa amepotesa uchakuzi so analia 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 mpaka 5 years ishe so uh, ignore him ignore mzee chapa kazi na watu wangu ndio watakuelect i want to tell chalango usikuwa na wasiwasi ati mzee na sasa anasema ati sasa atimruti kwa watu ati sasa watu wachakue uh, wa, 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 wa sasa nyinyi mme mmeasi chama Chanango ambia watu, mimi nimeenda state house, nilienda kuomba maendeleo nilete hapa. Lakini sasa nimekuza kwa sababu ku maendeleo enu. Wanainji watakurutisha. Wacha alete mwatu wake wa, wale wa, wanyo wanataka kumpitia saluti, tuwane kama ata, watapita hapa salangata. No way! Angalia mpunge wa super south. John Mbati akiwa yeye ngechama ni hodi yeo. He has already shown interest kwamba atatetea hiyo kit. Sasa yeye ndiye anaenda kukaa ante chama ni ODM ana ana discipline. Huyu mbunge. Ni lini? Ni lini? Nguruwe anaweza enda. Kwa msikiti. Na apate chakimen ambayo yuko fair ni lini sasa mbati ya mekaa chini ati sasa anataka kufukusa hui mbunge ati sasa anataka kukurudiusi umarufu ya hui mbunge there is no way mbati ulishindu anu ukashindu wacha kuwaza kushikana na mzea atasamu na discipline hui mbunge nashaka niwambia wa mbunge Wahodi yemu, ambayo mmeonekana, atasasa munafukuswa kwa chama, kwa sababu munafanya na rais. Go ahead, go ahead, work with the elected president. Elected president ya ako na authority, ya kuamurisha maendeleo kwako. Uyo muse hana authority, ya kuamurisha maendeleo yoyote kwako. The only, only authority yenye Musa anaweza kuamrisha ni watu kutoka maandamano na kuipa vitu in your constituents. Hiyo tu peke yake. Hiyo tu peke yake. So ignore him. Ana kesema murudi uwanjani. Go back. Wananchi wanajua nyinyi mlienda kuomba maendeleo. Lakini Musa aliona aibu. Kwa sababu mnaongea na mtu mwenye alimshinda. So anaona aibu amtoe kwa chama. Sasa nataka alete vichapa eh, wale ambao wanaweza kumuinamia na wasiende kuomba maendeleo. I know the electorate. Electorate will not elect them. Wata wengi no. Mimi ndio mtarudi tena kwa bunge na mzee atapata aibu yenye hajawahi ona. Yenye hajawahi ona. So you must come to the Padaike. Be serious. Be focused. Na maendeleo kwenu. Kwa sababu at the end of the day, wewe ndio uta account ile kitu yenye umefanya kwa wananchi wako. Hauta kuuliza Raila Kuna sema ajo, nilifuatanga rababa. Wata kuulisa wewe. Masule mefanyako nini? CDF. Hapa maendeleo kanu maendeleo kutuletea hapa. 
ni njia gani ambao which road sasa ni umeconstruct hapa ukaleta sasa inatakana sio consult na national authority ni ngapi umeleta ukwetu hapa wajana ni viparapara zinajengwa na na county kuna njia zinajengwa na ile national kuna vita ambazo zinatakana zilitwa na national sio wajinga wengine wanafikiria to at things were uh, uh, devolved sasa maendeleo kila kitu iko devolved acha hakuna haja ya kuweka kuomba maendeleo ni iko devolved my friend sio kile kila kitu kilikuwa devolved ukifuata raila na watanganya acha sasa unaenda huko nini to devolve kila kitu huyo ndiye anawatanganya is lying to you sio kila kitu kilikuwa devolved kuna maendeleo ambayo national inatakana iwafanyie sio kavana sio kavana sasa ni mkitaganya na huyu msee ati ni leader devolution anawatanganya leader devolution sasa kwa sababu ni leader devolution hakuna wewe kavana governor ama mp hakuna haja wewe uende kule atukae na rais unaoa tunaoa nini na devolution ni leader wacha kutanganya watu wako you are lying to them na hivyo tutafanya maendeleo in your areas ikuwe chini kabisa kwa sababu kama na wengine wa pumbavu wa jinga wataanza kufikiria tuko na devolution sasa hakuna haja nifanya na rais kwa sababu vitu vitaletwa tu kutoka huko juu na vinafanya maendeleo hapa chini hakuna kitu kama hiyo hatuku devolve kila kitu kuna vitu ambavyo vinatakana fanywe na serikali kuu na kama uwezi kufanya pamoja na serikali kuu wewe pagi kwa kisa pagi ni uje uri yako pagi ni ukabana wako mjiga huyo tuone kama hata college tu ya mexico itakuja kwako tuone so wale ambao wameufukuzwa kachama na yule mzee ambaye anajiita ati yeye ni mtu ambaye ameleta uh, demokrasia ya pandia ambaye yeye hata a practice demokrasia ignore maneno yake fanyeni kazi na serikali and i'm very happy hiyo siku mliambia kwamba umefukuzwa the next day niliwaona muko kwa city house na mkaonyesha mzee you are unbookable you are unshakeable kote you that spirit yes Musitishotisho ni huyu msemu msamba analialianga tu kila 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 after five years mnamuona kwa street na machozi analialia musitishotisho na mtu kama huyo you are the focus people nyinyi ni wabunge wachache kutoka Nyanza wenye nimeona mnaona mbele wachana ni wale wajinga ambao wanaendelea na kufuata mzee ah uh, kiholela holela tu hawataka kujali maendeleo ya watu wao i'm done with that kidingina bali za imekependa kuongelea I know Kenya ni sura aware kwamba tuko na the bipartisan talk ambayo inaendelea kule bombers of Kenya Hii tuko na two co chairman Kalonzo Musyoka na Imani Ichungwa ambao wame uh, wanaendeleza hii kikao the bipartisan talk ili kujaje ili kuja after muse ameenda kwa barabara ameiba vitu za watu ameduta 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 ameharibu vitu acha anataka anataka ana demand cause of living acha ana demand anatuambia anatanganya watu hati alipiwa kura hati sasa aambiwe nini ruda atamwambia my friend wewe ukitaka kwa kwa vitu kama hizo come we sit down and we discuss these things msaka peyuka peyuka mwisho akakubali to me ninaona the five person talk yenye inaendelea kule bomba za kenya 
is quite unnecessary. Hata isa hili kuwa huko. Kwa ni? Yani mutu ati sasa anakuja, anaharibu vitu, ati sasa akuje kwa mesa, atulete, tuanze ku, 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 kuongelea maneno juu ya cost of living, ati sasa tu, tu audit the previous general election ya 2022 ana tuambia kwa hiyo mjadala tuongee juu ya how to respect uh, uh, other parties ati sasa tuongelee juu ya the composition of IPC kwa hiyo miswada yenye alileta leo ni miswada yenye nimeona tu ya maana pale ni composition of IPC is indeed that cost of living audit of 2022 general election is null and void null and void ukiangalia cost of living yeye yeah, akitaka to discuss huyu mzee hii shida wa Kenya walitupata haki huyu mzee vile alienda kwa handshake aka kiss uhuru kinyata akiwa president They went on the bed with Uhuru Kenyatta wakalala Hapo ndio shida ilianzia Kenyans if we don't know Hapo ndio mvua ilianza kunyeshea Sasa mnanyeshea wala mnanyeshea na mvua And now the same person mwenye alisababisha ndiye anataka tuongee the cost of living cost of living hii ndo mpumbavu ni ujinga kabisa. Kanozo msioka ikaa kule boma za Kenya. Yeye yeah, is very much aware. Hadi ya uchumi ilianza kuharibika wapi? Na sasa anatuambia Ruto at sasa cause of living ndio the major issue yeye ndio kwenda kuandamana kwa barabara. Na anajua mzuri cause of living il netwa through the handshake ni karibia kabisa abla musa me kisi uhuru kinyata na uhuru kinyata na kisi wa karibika sijui kisi ilikuwa haji akapewa mvuta mvupa akaanza kula uhuru akakula nyama akaniona kama nguruwe hapo ndio kenya tulianza kujipata kwa shimo na rais William Samoei Ruto anajaribu kutoa kwa hiyo shimo. Ndipo sakaambia Raila Amolo Odinga hatuwezi kusababisha ama kuharibu uchumi. Alafu tena mnarudi kwa njia. Nyinyi ati mna pepa sufuria. Atasema mnarudisha uchumi kwa hali yenye nitakana akawaambia hata mfaye sufuria miaka kumi, hamwezi uchumi itarudishwa kupitia good policies na mipango sambamba ambayo iko kia towards kurekebisha uchumi hata kachakwa aliwaambia wakati tuna, walikuwa wanaapishwa akaambia kwamba wao wame inherit akila bitated economy na Kenyans wakaanza kulaumu kachakwa ati umetuhabisha umetuhabisha mbele wa Kenya umetusema nini hatu uoni wageni na kawaambia na sasa hivi mnaambia tuluto sasa economy ni mbaya mliambiwa siku ya kwanza tu mliambiwa hiyo kwa hivyo kuja kutuambia tuluto ameharibu ame economy hiyo ni uongo ya watu wasimio hiyo ni uongo kabisa economy ijaripiwa ijaripika wakati wa Samoe William Ruto iliaripika kitambo kabisa na economy iko packed sasa so, inakosi economy pia iko mbaya kabisa Unless you understand Lukaya economy 
Mtalaumu William Samoe Ruto bure. Angalia hali ya mavuta ni kutoka wapi? This a global issue. Na mavuta ikiwa bei uh, juu. Na hiyo it's one of the factors of production. Mavuta ikiwa juu. Na hiyo ndio ina tunatimia sana in production pay ya vitu itapanda. Kwa hivyo sio William Samuel. Sio. Vitu mingi tunatumia tuna, hapa Kenya. We are not producers. Very many things. Sisi we are consumers. Look at the dollar. Dola imeshoot. Dola iko juu. So the Kenyan shilling in a depreciate against the dollar. So dollar iki shoot. Kenyan shilling in the depreciate. Na tunanua vitu mingi kutoka nje. And you using the dollar. Kulipa. My friend. Ujakishuki saje maisha ikuwe chini. Ulakisimu aje, pay ya fitu, equation. You reason. Come together we reason. Come economists. Wale kula umu na umu ti watu. Unajua hawa watu waesimia wa, wa hawa, ni watu ambao, wengi wao kiangalia, asimio, ni watu wamesomea sheria tu. Lo. Na mutu ambayo mesomea lo, kulingana na economy, hayelewa hata kidogo. Hayelewi. Sasa ya ataanza tu kupweka pweka kwa parapara. Na kifikiria kwa mba hakiimba na sufuria kwa kichwa, ati ekonomi itarakepishu. There is no way. No way. So, the economy, the depreciating shilling of Kenya against the dollar, imechangia. Imechangia kapisa. Na hiyo siyo ruto. Siyo ruto. So, Kenyans tuwa watu wakuelewa hiyo uchume imeenda hivi haje in fact William Samuel Ruto kile kiti anafanya anajaripu pile anaweza kututitowa kwa shimu ambayo hiko ama tulitipata tukondan because of the two brothers the handshake brothers na hiyo hamekuja na mikakati amekuja ni mikakati ambaye ametuambia ni long term solutions kwa ekonomi ya Kenya yeye anaangalia vitu ambavyo ata, 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 ata create jobs kwa wananchi ili watu wakiwa na employed pesa zitatoka ame ameenda nje watu mwangalia mafuta yes is coming with alternatives. Bota bota wanalia. Analeta piki piki ambavyo watubi mafuta sasa. Anajali mwanaiti wa chini. Anawachali wale bota bota. Piki piki sinakunya sasa ni sasitima. Electric. Siyo mafuta sasa. Those are alternative measures. Yenye serikali inatumia. Ili kutoa hii shida ambayo tuko na so kulaumu president at sasa rais after election amesahau mkenya wa kawaida hapana rais alikipata kwa shida alikipata kwa shimo na anajaribu kujitoa kwa hiyo shimo so we have to appreciate ile kazi yenye william samoe ruto anafanya ili kuleta kenya back to its level mmeanza kutumulikombea Kenya na Singapore si Kenya na Kandrikani at Singapore imekuwa sasa Kenya nini mlichua huyo president alitumia mbinu gani ikakuwa pale yeye akisema nataka kuleta affordable houses hawa watu wa wasimio Musa akiwa mbele anaanza kupweka pweka Ata na watanganya nyumba siko wapi? Ati hizo nyumba wamekuuliza. 
umemuomba na nimesikia jamaa mwingine ndio kwa parapara hapo anasema hata Ruto hakuniuliza nyumba ati kwa nini sasa nataka kunichengea sasa unaangalia hizo ni nyowa Kenya that is very backward reasoning kujenga these affordable houses inakusaidia ku create employment ukikuja hapa Nairobi hasiwa Nairobi hapa kusema tu kweli na ukweli usemwe Pita na wengi wako mjengo. Watu wengi wako mjengo. Wanachapa kazi kwa mjengo. Na pesa hiyo nilipo kwa mjengo sio mingi. Sasa serikali ikisema sasa nakuja na affordable houses ili vijana niwaandike wengi country wide. Mzee ambaye anachoa tu kusimia kusimia. Hana maono mzuri, anaanza ku incite Kenyans ati anawadanganya. Acha nawatanganya sasa nyumba siko wapi? Nyumba siko wapi yenye anawatanganya? Acha Ruto anataka kuipa pesa, anawaibia. Ruto ni mtu ambaye alitachirika kitambo site. Hata gi pesa yenu hii. Mtu ukienda ati mayai peke yake Ruto at the end of the day, mayai tu is 1.5 million per day. Na hiyo mradi yake. 1.5. Sasa wewe wewe hasola ambaye anataka kukusaidia achukue tu pesa yako kidogo una unaambiwa una, una na Raila at Ruto anataka kuipa pesa yako wewe uko na pesa yenye Ruto anazo iba uko na pesa gani na Ruto ndiye anakopesha wewe pesa ya hasa lafani na Raila anakutanganya at sasa wewe unataka ku Ruto anakuipia pesa wewe mtu ni tajiri bwana hataki pesa ile kitu anataka ni kuona maisha yako inapatilika Mtu kiangalia investment yake ni ya billions and trillions of money. At the end of the day, pesa yenye Dr. William Samoei Ruto anaingiza tu. Na akikwambia wewe ambaye unapanua mdomo kwa parapara ukisema sasa wanataka wanatuipia. My friend, uko na pesa gani yenye Ruto anazaipia wewe? Au na kitu? So, mzee kwanza kuambia yeye ati mnataka mnaipiwa pesa. Is none and void. Ni mtu ni mzee ataki mfanyio maendeleo. Na kwa sababu aliona Dr. William Samoei Ruto ako na maono, ako na agenda, na ako na plan. Kwa wananchi. Sasa ndio kufanya tu chini ili plan zake zisikuwe implemented by selling to you lies. Huyu jamani mzuri sana kwa kuuza uongo kwa wananchi. Na watanganya tu. Na wachache ambao wanamusikiza wanafuata. Na hiyo ni uongo. Wewe ukijengewa nyumba affordable houses kuna nyumba tumeona ukitembea hata hapo mkiona advertisement, hadi nyumba inauzwa milioni 12, milioni 15, milioni 10. Sasa wewe unaona kwa hiyo nyumba kama hiyo. Ukai na decent house 17 million, 10 million akomo ni mwananchi utaweza wewe umeandikwa na mshahara wako ile 20 utaweza lakini saa hii William Samoei Ruto anakuambia with your 20000 with your 20000 you can afford to buy and own a 3 million house ni congratulations ni komze kwa kijana Dr William Samoei Ruto kwa sababu anataka nyinyi pia mu own very decent houses lakini watu wengine wanapenda tu waendelee kukaa kwa mapato structure. Wewe umefanya kazi miaka hamsini, imeisha unaenda nyumbani uko, uko na nyumba nyingine hata ya nyasi. Wengine na ukiwaambia tu akianza kupeana historia, atunajua mimi nilifanyanga na 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 Kenya uh, Kenya pipeline. Nilifanyanga na Kenya what? Nilikuanga simu ya adimu. Na ukiangalia nyumba yake na Amerika Nyumba yake alionyesha alikuwa mwalimu. Nyumba yake alifanyonyesha alifanya kazi kwa serikali. Nyumba iko in a very poor state. Lakini ukifanya, uinvest, ukuje na hii maono ya William Samoei Ruto, watu after um, uh, retirement watakuwa na own very decent houses. Kwa sababu 
in every county, in every sub county, thousands of thousands of these affordable houses are going to be built. So I could never have been a Huta Jonia at Ajasema Kwamba at a Jenga to Western, Nagana Central, na Narif Valley, Mali Penya, the Pata Kura Begage, Abana, at a Kule Nyanza, Kule Pondo, Penya Raila Mono Ninga on a talker, your neighbor, Alanda Kuka, Koyumba, Yawila, Samuel Ruto. We are Nas, Mutato and Yako, Raila Mono Ninga. And I was a coaffordi new by three million after my retire. Where would you go? I'm on a camayo. Aguna, my own air could cruise a mawe. Go and be a white dreadful street. Go and be a white wongo. Now, I'm a mono, I'm a patricia, my share of mutu. Aguna, how would I like a dog? So, what you were watching Uziana, Wongo, and Kuanza Kusimia. Kuweka sura mbaya adi ya Kenya kwanza adi ni adi ni hii serikali ni ya imekuja kutumiza hii serikali ambayo inakuja na maneno mazuri ambayo inakuja kuwapatilisha maisha yako pora tu mupeani time hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza wili raisi ambayo ako na maono anaenda hinge ana waleta investors. Unaona, kila wakati akilala, akiamuka, ni anaongelea juu ya mama mboka. Boda boda. Na wewe komo ni manaiji, ambaye maisha yako yuko chini. Anafikiria, ni nini ambaye atafanya, ili apatilise maisha yako. Lakini sasa nyingi, kazi yenu ni kuuziwa mawongo. Kwa hiyo bipartisan party, kiti ambaye pia ni meona kiti ya maana. Ni composition of the IPC. Na hii sisi hatuna, hatuna wari. Wacha, kimani chungwa, na uh, huyu, kanunzo mzioka. Waongele by person. Uh, kwa hii by person talk. Composition ya IPC. Lakini kitu ya nyemimi nimekuja. Kusikia. From far. Ati hao watu wa simio, wanatuambia, eti, ati the commissioners should come from parties. Iyo kitu, mimi ni kitu mbele ya iyo kamati, itasema no and no and no and no. Haiwe sekani, ati commissioners watu wa kwa parties. Aje sasa, ati wa sasa wakue commissioners wa IPC. Uyo musee, unamujua, anakuja na mbini yake ingeni. Anataka, amesha wanda jua, amesha jua. Q27, anaenda kushindwa kura. Sasa, anataka, eh, hawa. Akisha chukua ma IPC wenye umetoka, commissioners umetoka kwa hiyo pati yake. Wakiwa na watatu. Wakati wana, wanaenda kutangasa William Samoy Ruto in 27, kwa ba ni mshindi, atumia the same style yenye alitumia. Na wakina chelela. Akatumia. Na wale wengine. Chelela ni kurubu. Wawonekane wameenda kule. Kuitisha. Brief. Briefing. Na kuambia, kuambia watu unajua kura IPC. Unajua chairman. Aja, aja, aja fanya mzuri. Aja kuwa uh, uh, sawa. At you know that the sun is opaque. Wameanza kutafuta mbini ya ingine kusema the result of 27 itakuwa opeki. Mukisha itinisha ati ma commissioners watuwe kwa piyama. Huyo mzeli mchanja. Commissioners wataki utakani kutoka kwa piyama. Sasa wewe umetoka kwa chama ya, 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 ya simio. Na muse ameshindwa mapema pila huwa na shindwa kila wakati. Alapa na kupikia simu. Ana kuambia wewe wenda ukatae those results. Sio kumisa obviously atakata. So, hiyo mbili wanaleta mbele ya hiyo committee. At sasa, ma commissioners watoke kwa parties. That one should be rejected. As soon as is going to be reduced on that table by Imani Uchungwa, 
Kacha hiyo kitu. Hao msa nataka kuleta tena sarakasi. Kule tunajua. Hiyo sarakasi hatutaki. Sisi tumesema the chairman of IPC a token from a neutral ground. Aida pigo msasa na parliament na apitisho. Lakini sio sasa atasa atoke kwa chama kwa mrengo fulani hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hiyo tunakataa tunakataa na tutakataa. Kwa hiyo pai person talk Muse pato ameshikilia at sasa anataka ku audit the 2022 general election. Mimi nashinda huyu Muse. Sijui Muse ana kunywanga jana ama ana kunywanga nini? Kwa sababu yeye akiamka ameshindwa kukubaliana na ukweli. Kama hii maneno ilienda kwa Supreme Court Chief Justice Kome akaamua. Sasa wewe sasa Chief Justice aliamua iweje sasa saa hii unataka kuleta kwa a, 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 a committee yenye imetengenezwa tu anasema tena sasa irudie ku audit the 2022 general election. Hiyo point kimani chungwa toa kwa hivyo vitu. Muse kama ataki kupali ukweli atoke Kenya. Aende Uganda. Ama Tanzania. Kama ataki kukubali kwamba alishindwa, hiyo tulisahau. So hiyo kitu mtoe. Kwa bipartisan talk mtoe hiyo kitu. Kwa sababu hiyo itakuwa mchezo. And in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm going to recommend Uyu Muse Kama ataendelea na isa rakasi yake Tunataka Kenya ikuje na uh, A certain policy Ya kudiscipline such candidates Iwapo utakuwa unashindwa Na unakataa una kukubali you, you have to be di, you, you have to be banned From participating in future election so me my proposal ni kwamba mzee awe band kwa sababu yeye ukimweka pale mjiandae kufanya maandamano so mtu kama huyo that such a candidate is not fit is not fit so ipc ikuwe na sheria ya kusema kwamba ukishindwa ni ulete malalamishi yako mbele im body na udarao IPC wewe hautakani kukampaign ama kukutaka kiti yoyote hapa Kenya na hiyo ibendakana ikuwe hivyo ili mzee awe stopped kwa hapo kila wakati every election imekuwa kama kwaya imekuwa sio kama nini every after election Kenya at to prepare watu kwenda kwa street kukimbia hii mwaka mliona tu what happened ile wakati election il, eh, general election tangaz il tangazo mshindi akatangazo na chief justice kaume kila mtu akajua lakini mpaka wa leo mtu ambaye mnaita baba ajaamini that one muze to me he should be banned from participating in future general election mtafuta mtu mwingine mleta kama hata kama ni kalozo ama mtu mwingine lakini sio muze mwenye akubali kushindwa Then another thing I want to talk about is the Raila critic on US ambassador. 
the last three weeks down the line, Mulisikia Muse Akianza kupweka pweka Ati huyu US Ambassador Amesema kwamba Anapongesa uh, Ruto Kwa kutoa ushind Ambayo yawai onekana hapa Kenya Ambayo ilikuwa transparent Musa kasema kwamba Huyu Mama Awe deported Back to America Muse Nataka tukwambie Weo una mamulaka yoyote Ya kutuanzafa Ena ambasada Hauna Waza kutanganya watu wako Umeto wabi mamulaka Ya kutuanzafa Ana ambasada Wa Kenya Kama hauna mamulaka yoyote Ya kutuanzafa Chifu kwa kwako Auna mamulaka? Mamulaka hii yuko nayo ni ile ya kuimpose makafa na zuko kwako. Kuimpose huko Nyanza, hiyo ndio mamulaka uko nayo. Lakini Kenya muzima hauna mamadaka. Hauna authority ya ku, 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 kuandika ile document kuweka sign. Na ikuwe recognized. Auna, sasa ukijuambia kwamba unataka or oh, you are seeking at sasa kutransfer hui mama aruti amerika you are talking as who as who you are iniko, iniko kunito guana null and void iyo inino sinimeni yako is null and void muta kisema ukweli watu ukweli utum kwa sababa kituambia kwamba Election ilikuwa transparent. Na nukweli ilikuwa. Kenya muzima. Every, uh, after election. Watu wali sherekea Kenya muzima. Kwa sababu it was transparent. Hata wakisiti duwana wakisherekea. Na sasa wewe. Mama akiona hivo. Akikuambi ukweli. Wewe unaanza kuchoto. Kinaanza kupana. Wewe una mamulaka ya kutuanifuwa mama. Mamulaka yenye huko nayo ni wewe kufuta eh, kuambia watu wako tu kwamba tumeexpel mpunge kwa chama chama. Hiyo ndio chama mamulaka uko nayo peke yako. Lakini Kenya muzima you have no authority. And you have no moral value. You are to the government of Kenya. Another thing I want to talk about. Ni kitu ambayo tumesikia Mara kwa mara ima, inatoka kwa finywa ya Azimio Brigade. Mara kwa mara. Ati sasa, ati, ati, ati de, uh, Ruto, serikali ya Ruto, ni serikali ambayo iliiba kura. At the stolen election. Ati sasa, hii eh, kitu uwe na nuhuma sana. Na haswa, o bunga wazimio. Hawa, wa, wa, the senator wa Nairobi yaba. Sivuna. Atako na guards. Guards. Ya kusema, at the, the election was stolen. Mimi na shindua. Kama wewe ulikuwa elected. Na the same IPC. How comes unakuja kutuambia kwamba the election ya eh, serikali ser ya William, uh, William Samoy Ruto haiko jejun? I want to call upon all as mere MPs who are elected. Wafanye nini? Waji usulu? Kwa sababu, kama wanasema hivyo, wao pia, they are not genuine in the office. How can you blame? Unasema mimi likuwa elected na APC kwa senator. 
on the other side una problem the same as my ipc yenye collect and hai kufanya kazi mzuri sasa usikuwa unaniambia nini kenya hata wewe basi wewe you are wrong, wrongly elected because the mechanisms the officers when you are elect senator you are elect the governor you are elect those mcs you are elect the women rep you are elect the president has you kwa na other officials wa ku elect the president peke yake has you kwa na ipc in wasemba hii ni ku elect president yeye ku elect senator sivuno ukome kabisa mara kwa mara kutuambia ati 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 the election was stolen hii serikali ni ambayo haikuingia kwa njia ya kihalali wewe pia hiyo kura ulipata those votes that you lipata sana Nairobi hapa basi asikwa jeni if that is your statement if you can go by your statement sivuna ukome na ukome kabisa kuja kutusinya hapa na kutuambia kila mara ati at serikali ya Ruto ni serikali yenye ili ati ati lipa chukura you have to stop there's a mere brigade you have to stop that statement ila tuhudu sana wewe umelekitiwa na IPC unakula mshara na the same time una problem the IPC stop that nonsense stop it kama ni kuna watu wezi hapa ke, Kenya kama watu ni wezi mimi ningesema ni the smio brigade being led by the the, 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 the big brothers Raila Amolo Odinga na Uhuru imagine Ruto akiingia kwa ofisi walikuwa wameiba waliwachia Ruto na 3 million only In the future, how can you run the government with 93 million? How do you waste the capital? Ninge kwa ruto, ninge anza kushika hawa jamaa wawili. They took. Warudishe pesa. Harabu sasa munaanza kuplemu. Oh, hey, hii serikali ni ya wizi, yenye niipa tu. Lakini sasa nyinyi kulingana record mnakuja kutuambia kwamba ni 50. Mtu ambie the extra tati imetoka wapi? Kama mko wa mkahamu mliende mkahaya kutoka kwa mojari. You are hiring. Kutanganya wa Kenya. So stop hiring dead bodies. Na kuja kutanganya ku fix serikali ya William Samoei Ruto. Don't. Lastly, I want to uh uh ask Kenyans wakuwa watu wivu pay no attention kwa watu wazimio walishindwa kazi yao wanataka kulipisha kisasi so any action mnasikia ni kulipa kisasi so be careful when dealing with azimio any statement coming from them be careful Tumeona Musa ameenda hapa siyo kizunguri ama wapi juzi anaenda watu wanamtanganya ati unajua hapa uh, uh, ulipata kura mingi sana lakini sasa unajua walikuibia baba hata una aibu yani ulishindwa na bado unaenda huko wanakutanganya ati walikupiga kura walikupiga kura wapi yani yeye ana akili una huyu mzee kumbe amekuwa mzee sahihi amepewa amepata kura 300 wanamtanganya alipewa alipata huko eh, milioni mbili ilikuwa wapi sign up wacha kutanganya na huyo mama ma, ma, huyo mama uh, atimaza karua anakutanganya wacha na huyo mama kwanza yeye ndiye alikuuza kabisa thank you very much